All right, so, I'm so bored. <sighs> so stupid. Huh? Nope. Nah. Nope. Toilet paper. I mean, it's, it's weird seeing how so many people are obsessed with buying lots of this than, say, getting their ass squirted with water like a normal person. Oh shit. Now we have these toilet paper orders? I'm just downright crazy people, so I was thinking maybe I should build something that prevents those types of people from taking more toilet paper than they should. So I was thinking of using something like a rotary encoder, which would calculate the amount of rotations that the tissue has rolled, but... This would mean spending money and just waiting a whole day? I mean, ugh. But I do have a solution. Aha! So when you see these old mice from 2005, any normal person would say that this is just garbage. Um, if you're like me, you'll also probably say that this is garbage as well. But my point is that the optical sensors in these mouse does exactly what I need, um, which is measuring the distance that the mouse has traveled on. So I'll probably use... I won't be needing that, I won't be needing that. I'll need the color code for this, and I'll probably keep the lower casing, um, just to make sure that this lens is secure underneath this optical sensor, so... There we go. So now I just need to connect the mouse to an Arduino, so we can actually program and control the sensor. I'm not too sure if you can see the colors here, but these should stand for these, it should be on screen. The one thing about this though is that I'm pretty sure you don't need the shield, uh, it's probably not necessary, so I just didn't wire it. And now the code. One eternity later. Oh, uh, that took quite some time, um, but now if I actually go into the program, you'll see that the program outputs a stream of X and Y values, and as soon as I move the mouse, it'll output the corresponding values. But the main thing here are the total values, which is calculated as a sum of the x values. And I can basically set a condition if that total exceeds a certain amount. So now I have a sensor working, I'll probably just not need to kill myself when I build this. So I'll need this, some of that, this, and of course, that. And to finish off... Have you ever looked at yourself and just thought, what the hell are you doing with your life? I, 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 mean, I mean, look at this. What? Introducing the all new Toilet Buddy 3000. It's got the groove. It's got the curve. It's got the... Now I've actually come to edit this thing, I just realized how terrible I am at this. There's also a thing where I feel like I'm trying to copy someone. I guess that's just me. Anyways, let's skip to the part where I actually explain how this robot works. This is your average kid, Jimmy. Hi. And we need to make sure that these pathetic pieces of sh that these ungrateful children, uh, don't take any more than, say, uh, two, three pieces of paper at a time. Not that there's anything special about three, it's just the highest number that I can count to. It's obviously a pull here will cause a twist here, but before we go any further, you'll notice a small lever here, and the sole purpose for this is to make sure the toilet paper only spins one way. Now as we roll the paper, the mouse sensor that's strapped onto the top will calculate how much distance has been traveled along the sensor, effectively calculating how much toilet paper has been rolled. Every time it sends information to the Arduino, which is around, I think, a millionth of a second, the Arduino will add up the values and then tell this servo to lock the lever if the sum reaches a certain value. Oh, this servo to lock the lever if the sun reaches a fire. I wrote this and even I'm bored by this. Last test run. So say you're Jimmy, you're on the toilets, you're doing your number two, your three, four, it, it, it's really up to you. And you know, you, you feel it, it's time to wipe. But you see, you're the type of person who you know literally takes a toilet paper and just rolls it like this. Hey, we all know about one person who does that. You, know, you, you, don't, you don't care about the environment, you hate the environment. Screw those turtles, you know, screw those dolphins. Screw that next door neighbor who ran out of toilet paper last week. But you're in luck, this buddy, this toilet buddy 3000 will make sure that you don't use any more toilet paper than you should. So if I take some toilet paper here, you know, it's gonna be like, oh no, I can't take any more toilet paper. Well, what? Oh.
retake. So if you do this and, oh yeah, I can't take any more toilet paper. So you might be asking, hey Andrew, if I can't use this after one use, then you know, how do I use it again? Well, the truth is the code actually resets the entire thing after like three minutes, I think. But say you took out like three slices of, slices? pieces of toilet paper per use. Then three minutes on three pieces, well, that's like one piece per minute, right? But you know what, I, I think that's a bit too generous. I mean, one whole piece per minute. Yeah, I, I think we should, you know, triple it. Triple it to nine minutes. One piece per three minutes. Okay, so now I can take some more toilet paper and, oh, look at that, it locks up. Works perfectly, and if I wait nine minutes, it should probably reset. Oh, and did I mention it was fully portable? This video could not have been possible without today's sponsor my second floor bathroom. Head to your own bathroom to claim your free toilet paper today. The Toilet Buddy 3000 will be shipped around the globe. It'll save paper, it'll save the environment, and it might just explain why I'm losing friends. Anyways, thanks for watching.